Hi everyone, in today's video we're going to talk about how to better prepare for next week's patch, the biggest one we've had so far. Um, next Thursday on the 19th of May we're getting the Legion raids, we're getting new sets of gear, new accessories and also a new class, the Destroyer. Before we begin, may I just say a huge thank you to all of you who are members of my channel with the monthly paid membership, I really appreciate it. And now let's just uh, get right into it. We're going to start with the Chaos Dungeons. So the first thing I would do is get myself four bars of rest bonus for the Chaos Dungeons. If you start skipping them tomorrow on Sunday, you have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Four days when you don't do them. That is four bars acquired for you to have on Thursday, day one of the new patch. And um, get yourself the double loot Thursday and get another two times double loot on Friday. Now the new Chaos Dungeons, the South Vayne Chaos Dungeons um, drop relic grade things in general. The one that's at 1415 drops relic grade gear armor, which is good for the tripods, which can be up to plus four. So that is another thing that you can get lucky with and sell on the auction house or even use yourself. The next one at 1445 uh, also starts dropping relic accessories. Granted, these based on my experience these chaos dungeons don't really drop a lot of relic grade accessories or as many as um, legendary grade that we we're, we're getting now for example for the last one in punica um, however there are some and with double loot you have a, double the chances to get them these relic grade accessories are going to sell for a lot of gold at the beginning in the first couple of weeks because this is the new thing that's coming with the patch the relic grade accessories i believe that even a character at 14 15 might that be your main or your alt still gets nice value in skipping the next four days of chaos dungeons and waiting for thursday with the rest bonus even if we're talking only about the um, um, the relic armor pieces for the tripod. Another important thing that I wanted to mention in regards to Chaos Dungeons is um, pre-farming these tokens that you get for all of your extra runs. Starting with Thursday, you're going to be able to use these tokens for a lot of interesting items, including uh, relic grade accessories. And of course, same as with everything else in the tier 3 section, the more you buy, the more expensive they get. However, just ha uh, having a couple thousand of these and a being able to afford two of, of, of each accessory before they get very expensive and trying your luck, maybe striking some gold there. Um, I think it's a, it's a nice thing to do. And if you're watching this video today on Saturday the 14th, you still have time until tomorrow when you when we discuss that you need to stop so you can gather rest bonus. You still have time today maybe to, uh, to have a seven hour marathon farming tier three chaos dungeons for, for, uh, for the tokens. Yeah. Next thing are the guardian raids. Starting with Thursday, we will also get rank six with Descaluda as the first boss. And uh, again, same as with the chaos dungeons, I highly recommend that any character on your account that's 14, 15 or above would actually um, get some rest bonus. Four bars is perfectly fine. You can do still do your guardians today on Saturday today and start skipping them with tomorrow sunday and get the four bars by thursday in terms of you feeling comfortable with your character during the valtan fight i would highly recommend sorting out your stats the proper stats for the build that you're playing very easy right now to go to the auction house in the worst case scenario and look for a couple of decent accessories that have the, your desired stats um, in terms of engravings i would say three engravings is sufficient for argos as for gems um, a minimum of level five gems across the board is not much to ask for at this stage assuming you've been an active player right um, and if you have a card set that gives you something that's just uh, another extra bonus right of course gear tripods are also nice to have in terms of skills some decent runes are nice to have speaking of runes very important for me that i would mention uh, the purify rune something that very many people are going to um, actually run if you socket it on a, sh a short cooldown skill it does wonders in terms of saving you gold on uh, cleansing yourself during the fight now this purify rune can right now only be acquired from having five maps completed in terms of your adventure tom uh, so if you're close to having five and you're you know you were you, you were trying to do something else then i would definitely advise you completing the five and with every new content comes also new requirements in terms of consumables whether you want to just take advantage and make some gold by crafting the right consumables for that pack or just 
buying them cheaper now yourself than they're gonna be maybe um, uh, after Valtan's release. So for Valtan, we're gonna need Whirling Grenade for Phase 1, we're gonna need Destruction Bombs for Phase 2, Panaceas also because there's a nasty debuff, we're gonna, we could possibly use Flame Grenades to get people out of prisons and also Time Stop Potions, same, same as for every other content, but I guess these first three are, let's say, sort of specific to Valtan, and if you're a support and your group is aware of this, you can just take a Corrosive Bomb and throw it um, on the boss before everyone else throws their bombs um, and yeah these are the consumables that we're gonna be using the login event is something that's always very useful to uh, be mindful of before a new patch right like keep some things here and you can redeem them I can redeem all of these tomorrow right even if you have redeemed these potions they last 14 days so at the time of redemption you're still gonna have them um, for Thursday on the 19th uh, these give you two extra runs of the Chaos Dungeons, obviously as we discussed, Chaos Dungeons very nice, two extra runs with full loot on top of your two original runs with double loot because of the energy of um, uh, the, the rest energy, it's going to be just a fantastic Thursday uh, for you in general. But new content and accessories and gear are not the only things that are coming on Thursday, there's also an exciting new class, the Destroyer, and um, it is confirmed that we're not getting any boosts um, uh, with its release, uh, you can still use the boost that we had like for example the Phaeton power pass that came at the same time with the Glavier can be used on the destroyer if you haven't used it or the super express mission again if you haven't used it so far can be um, uh, used on your destroyer other than that no other new boost so because of this you can you, you can also use these um, elixirs for, for the chaos dungeon recovery you can place them in your roster warehouse and take them on your destroyer and use them on it and lastly since we're on the destroyer topic very many people are going to want to um um, boost up right their destroyers and be as fast as possible because of that they are going to miss the uh, the shards the harmony shards at the beginning in tier one content and then later on the um, uh, life shards yeah so if you're someone who is not interested in maining the destroyer or you want to just take it at a normal easy pace you can sort of take advantage of the people who will want to rush uh, and just sell them the harmony shard pouches by doing tier one and tier two maps the prices for tier one blue pouches have risen uh, quite a lot in the last few days this is an eu central marketplace chart um, but i'm pretty sure it's the same situation in na and also the prices for the green tier one and two pouches have risen by a little bit i'm pretty sure these are going to go even higher simply because it is already confirmed we don't have any other boost event However, with our release, you can never know, right, to buy something because they might just give it for free from one day to another. But just saying, tier 1 and 2 maps, buying your, uh, buying all of your maps right now from uh, from North Vern, from Rohendel, from Phaeton and from Yorn um, is, in my opinion, a good investment because they are already more expensive than they were just a few days ago by quite a lot and they will go even higher uh, in my uh, personal opinion you you should have plenty of chaos shards left assuming you haven't made any mistakes and purchased tier 3 maps with them um, because that's not worth it tier 1 and 2 are, is the way to go um, from this event also from the, from the super express mission the the level 4 version gave us um, a thousand shards also as just as a reward there plus Plus all of the chaos gates that you do you should have enough to get this week's maps and maybe next week's maps if you don't have enough shards for tier one and two i would just advise to go for the tier one because they're cheaper in terms of shards and they sell for roughly the same um, uh, price on the on the auction house yeah doing this has to be done in a rota with three other people plus you in a party that's the most efficient way and out of just doing tier one maps right assuming you don't buy any tier twos um, you can easily make uh, somewhere around 5,000 gold with today's prices. If they go higher, that's even more gold for you. Um, this was everything I wanted to, uh, to talk about. I will uh, see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and stay safe. Take it easy.